Hey everybody, Rick the Radio Guy here and I want to show you how you can use the Cisco Instant Dispatch Console from a Windows PC to give you a desktop console for access to the radio systems. So what I have over here is a PC. I'm going to show you how to log in in a couple minutes. We'll walk through the steps. It'll be quick, easy, and you'll be perfectly comfortable with it. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to log in to the IPix Dispatch Console. I've put all the icons to start this application in the lower left-hand corner. This is how you start your Instant Connect Dispatch Console. I can come over here, double-click on it, or I could use the touch screen on the Toughbook. The server is 10.10.40.12. That should be pre-populated. The last user is pre-populated. All you have to do is put in your password, which I will now. We're logging in and you see the wheel here spinning indicating we're connecting back to the server. And now we're in the dispatch console login. My location is demo system because I'm upstairs in the training center. If I were remote down in the EOC, my location would be remote. Never default. Okay, so demo system. We don't have to worry about cross mute groups and the IDC version is 492. That'll be consistent. I've now got my uh, restricted use screen. I accept that license and now we're going off to the server and we're pulling up my profile with my channels uh, and settings. I'll maximize the screen here for readability. Okay. And I'm getting some informative messages here because I don't have the uh, phone dialer set up on these systems, but that's okay. It also says no microphone is selected. When it finds the headsets, it'll ask us to select those. Okay. And then we'll be able to come over here and click and click and save the settings. And then I can close that. You'll notice my channel list here that came up. And I've divided things into intercom, law, and fire channels as a for instance. And if I hover over them, you'll see, well, you see traffic actually coming in on some of these channels like the 8 Call 81 channel was briefly active there. Um, these are also the push to talk bars. So if I want to come over here and talk on the site intercom, I just park over it with my mouse and click. And click. And I'm pushing and I'm talking. So there's a couple ways you can do that. Okay. You'll also notice when you have rec received activity, the lights come on uh, showing you the green box. I have an audio replay here if I happen to miss that, since I don't have my headphones on now. I can pull that tray up, hit play, and replay the audio stream. So that's kind of cool. And we'll hit stop, and we'll reduce that again. That's really all there is to it. If you have a channel that you want to turn off, the little one zero icon here is the on-off switch. It works in either the big screen or the small screen. You'll notice that these grayed out. The channels you have will depend on what user you are, uh, so you might not see all the same channels we have here. I've tried to group the law channels as blue, the fire channels as red, intercom channels and other special use channels as other colors. So there you go. That's really all there is to it. Hey, I hope that was a great explanation for you and useful. If you have any questions, reach out and contact us. We'll be out in the vehicle. We'll be around. Ask any of the Commels and they can find the Cisco crew. We'll be happy to help you. Thank you very much.